Hey guys, this is Cherish from The Motley News, uh, here to talk to you about a television show that I've recently got interested in. It's called Black-ish, and it's on ABC. Um, it features a black family, an upper middle class black family living in the suburbs, going to work, school, um, and dealing with cultural identity issues in a post-racial America. Um, anyway, <laughs> we haven't seen a black family like this featured on any primetime network since, um, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Family Matters, uh, The Cosby Show, and when I say primetime network, I mean ABC, CBS, NBC, uh, Fox. We do see black family television shows on UPN, which is now CW, TBS, and BET. Um, and those shows tend to feature, um, you know, think of Tyler Perry shows. Those are a set audience uh, with a certain set of expectations, and it's very narrow. It's not really reaching a wide array of um, audiences. So, the black family featured on Black-ish composes of one dad, um, Anthony Anderson. He is a, you know, regular dad who works at an ad agency where he's the only black person there, with the exception of a couple of interesting new characters, but they do make a big deal about that. Uh, the mom is Tracy Ellis Ross, and you'll remember her from the show Girlfriends, which was on UPN, which is now CW. She plays a doctor. They have four adorable kids uh, who are all quirky and funny in their own way. And the grandfather that lives with them is Lawrence Fishburg, which is really interesting because um, when you think of Lawrence Fishburg, you think of, you know, classically trained Othello. And he's only nine years older than Anthony Anderson, so that is also um, something interesting. But he does play a crotchety old man pretty well, <laughs> who's always correcting the parents on their parenting skills. So, yes, uh, this is a new endeavor for a network like ABC. We have a lot of family sitcoms like Modern Family. And they do feature a, pe a few people of color, um, but this is the first time in a really long time that a black family is being represented on a forum that is for everybody. That being said, when I did first start watching it, it was the pilot episode and I had really high expectations for it. And then I was disappointed because there were so many cliche tropes, old fashioned stereotypes, and it seemed like they were throwing everything in this one pilot at one time. I mean, they kept referring to the black identity every scene, and um, the jokes that they made were kind of falling flat. And at one point, um, you know, this whole worry and anxiety about being black in a socio-economic class, which is pretty high, um, you know, that kind of started to wear thin after a while. Uh, there was even a scene when Anthony Anderson um, says to his wife, Tracy Ellis Ross, you know, I don't think you really are black enough. And she's a mixed race woman which I thought was kind of unfair because, you know, people of a mixed race have their own sets of anxieties being of the white world and then, you know, being of another ethnicity and then trying to assimilate into a white world. All right, whatever. So after that first episode, I was kind of over it. And I sat on it for a little while and then my husband and I came back and started watching it again. We watched about five episodes straight through on Hulu, and you know what? We were pleasantly surprised. It seemed like the show got way better. The jokes were funnier, they were a little bit more subtle, and you could kind of see this show being marketed towards a wider audience. I don't think just black families would be um, entertained by a show like this. I think white families would be too just like The Cosby Show. 
you know, everybody could sit down and watch the Cosbys. Um, so, you know, they even had an episode about, you know, spanking children. And that was really entertaining because my husband and I could probably reflect on our own childhoods and talk about how traumatic the experience of getting a whooping or spanking is. And he's black, he's white and I'm black, but there was, you know, definitely some shared experience, some commonality. A lot of people are still criticizing this show as being too militant, you know, racist, or reinscribing the same stereotypes. Well, those people have probably not gotten past the pilot episode, and I assure you, you know, I think it gets a lot better. Things become a little bit more nuanced, and the problems that this family have holding on to cultural identity you know, can be related back to other groups of people, too. Sometimes you worry about your kids being too invested in their friends or their technology um, and not spending enough time with the family. I think that's probably a common American issue. Uh, And then there's that idea of, is this totally representative of the Black experience? To which I say, what is the black experience. It's not one uniform thing. This is only a facet of what, you know, some black families go through. Uh, And I don't expect the writers to be as culturally aware as Ralph Ellison writing The Invisible Man. This is all supposed to be a comedy, you know? It's supposed to be lighthearted. And I don't think it's racist. It's actually poking fun at racist stereotypes. You know, we should poke fun at them. Sometimes they're ridiculous, and I think that this show does that. Um, And be aware that even the Cosby show had its share of criticism. You had a black uh, family living in Brooklyn in the 80s and 90s. The dad was a doctor, and the mom, Claire, is the best mom ever, Uh, was a lawyer and their kids were kind of perfect except you know in the times that they weren't Denise was the worst (laughs) and Sandra was the most boring and uh, Vanessa was the most annoying I mean they represented what a real American family was like during the 80s now there are certain class issues that we could address because not every American family lived as well as the Cosbys or, you know, this family right now on Blackish. So instead of criticizing the the race issue, you know, are they black enough? Are they representative of the average black family? You know, we should probably closely examine the class, the socioeconomic issues. No, they don't represent every family in America in that regard. But I ask you, you know, give this a chance. This is a huge move on ABC's part to take a chance on, you know, a comedy based on a black family. They are, you know, making sure that their audiences all over the place are being addressed, but they're also throwing in some real life nuggets of black experience, stuff that I would hope that everybody learns from. And I think a lot of ethnic uh, minorities in America, people of color, could probably identify with this, this family as well. You know, there have been a lot of times in your life where I'm sure you've been asked to be a voice for your people. Like, what do you think about this that or the other thing or you know I mean I deal with a lot of that stuff too I go to work um, I go shopping just as much as the next person but I swear to God if I stand too still in a target somewhere an elderly white woman will ask me where I can find the you know whatever in the pharmacy and I have to tell her I don't work here but I'll help you find them if you'd like because I'm a nice person And then she goes, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you worked here, even though I'm not wearing a red smock or anything. Um, And then, you know, when I'm in school, there's definitely that awkward workplace environment where people, you know, talk to you any sort of way. 
or assume that you know this because you're black or I don't know people still want to touch other people's hair and that's still kind of weird so um you know a it's a really good show to give you a new look at what the black family looks like in a modern world and b i think it's just funny you know and i think anybody will enjoy it so give it a shot if you have comments or questions about the show and you want to talk about it put them down there in the comment section and get at me and I'll try to answer those and get back at you. Until the next time, you guys take it easy. Bye!